guys, this is Lauren Montgomery. I'm just doing a couple follow-up videos to the webinar I gave a few weeks ago on proper transfer techniques. I know y'all couldn't get a good view of it, so we'll give you a couple separate videos. Um, the first transfer technique I want to do is going over the gate belt and trying to do sit-to-stand transfers, so just helping um, your loved one or patient get up from a lower surface. Using a gate belt kind of helps give you a leverage, leverage point, so you're just going to put it around them, snug it up. And then now the kind of the best thing to do is use your knees to help block. So rather than just pulling up on them or letting them push and pull on you, um, the best way to protect yourself is actually to just get up close. You're gonna reach around and just kind of put your hands underneath the gate belt. You're gonna block with your knee and then you're just gonna do a, a count of three. So one, two, three, lean back out of it and then kind of block with your knee to help propel them up. So go ahead and sit down. I'll show you that one more time. So you're just reaching around, blocking with your knee. You can even do a two knee block if you need to, but it's just one, two, three, lean back. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you is just how you can use a bed sheet to try to help with rolling side to side and also changing out some of those um, absorbent pads. So you're just gonna put your sheet down. All right, come and lay down for me. Typically, that is a little higher than this, so I'm gonna raise this up. Um, so a lot of times, you know, either A, you're just pulling on them, they're pulling on you. If you can put this sheet down, it helps you. Um, the other thing that's helpful is if you bend the opposite knee up, just to give you another kind of point of leverage. So rather than just pulling and trying to use all upper body, also get in a staggered stance. From there, you can kind of use the weight of your body to try to help and use your legs to propel. So you're gonna grab onto the sheet, lock your elbows in by your side, and then from there, you can roll them towards you and you're just using your body to kind of block them from rolling off. Um, so that's gonna be kind of how you can help to roll them if you need to change anything. So the other thing is, go ahead and sit up for me. If you have an absorbent pad down, you can change that using this technique as well. So let's just pretend this is the already placed absorbent pad. So what you're gonna do, and I'll actually go from this side for this one so you can see, you'll have your other pad ready. You're gonna kind of, yep, bend your knee, bring across, roll towards you. From there, while you have them ready, you can actually roll. You'll get that as far as you can. Hold on one second, we roll the towel off. All right, so you'll preferably have it somewhere that doesn't fall like what I did. You'll roll it halfway. You'll go ahead and pre-tuck the new one. So now going back onto your side, come around from the other side, go ahead and bend, you'll roll towards you again, you can pull out the old and now you can finish rolling out the new and so now you've changed the absorbent pad. Alright so the last thing I'm going to show y'all is how to get somebody from a laying down position to a sitting up position with the most kind of mechanical advantage that we can give you. So what you're going to do is you're going to help them to roll onto their side. So go ahead and bend your knees. In this case, we don't have a whole lot of give on the table. So I'm actually going to scoot your hips over a little bit. Good. All right. So from here, you're going to use your sheet. You're going to roll them towards you. From this position, what you want to do is you want to kind of hook one hand behind their knees. The other hand's going to go behind their neck. So as you bring their knees off the table, you're going to pull their shoulders up. So as you come down, you come up. And then that's kind of how you set them up. 